Okay, so today I figured I would make a really quick guide on the Unholy Death Knight. Um, so I know everybody's got a, a bit of a different play style and everything. Um, but here we are. Here's my personal talent and everything else for the Unholy Death Knight. This is what works for me. And what works for me may not necessarily work for you. But... We'll just go ahead and we'll jump right up into this. And as you can see, you know, on Holy. And his key skills are obviously, you know, the Festering Strike, the Scourge Strike, Outbreak, Apocalypse, Raise Dead, and Army of the Dead. Um, so with that being said, we'll move on to the talents. So for the first row, level 15, I went with All Will Serve. So, I summon a Stealtho Archer, which is this guy. He's really nice to have for things that like to run away when they have low health and I can't quite get to them. Um, just that little extra damage that he does provide is rather helpful. Um, so, definitely worth checking out. I'm sure Infected Claws is pretty good, as well as Clawing Shadows, which seems to be more of a ranged one, but it's not my personal favorite. Um, I did find it to be fairly competitive back in BFA, but I don't know what it's like now. So, anyway, on to level 25. Um, so on level 25, we went with Bursting Sores. So with Bursting Sores, you know, it causes a festering wound to burst for 25% more damage, and it does 280 shadow damage to 8 nearby enemies. So that's pretty helpful for, a, for an AoE ability. Very, very useful in my opinion. You may not agree, or you may have suggestions to try Ebon Fever or Unholy Blight. I, I haven't tried Unholy Blight since Wrath of the Lich King when the Death Knights first dropped. So I don't know if it's competitive now or not. Nor do I know if Ebon Fever may be a better option over Bursting Sores. Like I said, it's just my personal preference. So onward to level 30. I went with Asphyxiate because in regular dungeons and sometimes a PvP, Asphyxiate is really nice to have for that extra stun. Um, the extra stun is, to me, more beneficial as, you know, Death Knights don't really have a stun, and especially in PvP if you're trying to stop people from getting away from you, especially in, like, two, uh, twos on Arena, it's really helpful. Um, I'm sure Death's Reach would be useful in PvP as well, but I just, I appreciate having the stun. Um, Grip of the Dead, Death and Decay reduces movement speed. I'm sure that would be helpful, but, you know, again, I prefer Asphyxiate. Um, so on 35, we have the Soul Reaper talent. So you strike an enemy for 476 shadow damage, and it, the enemy is affected with Soul Reaper. After 5 seconds, if the target is low, 35% health. Effect explodes, dealing an additional 20, 2255 shadow damage to the target. And if the target dies, you gain Runic Corruption. So that's pretty nice. Um, so anyway, onward to 40. Spell Eater. Anti-magic spell absorbs 30% more magic damage and lasts 5 seconds longer. I find that beneficial as it seems like a lot of um, mobs in the latest expansion Shadowlands actually are more magic based. Um, now, I know a fair amount of enemies also in BFA were magic based, but it was easier to get away with Wraith Walk or Death Pact back then. I just, I prefer the Spell Eater so far for this expansion, and it's been more beneficial to me. So, with that being said, we'll move on to Unholy Pact on the level 45. So, Dark Transformation creates an Unholy Pact between you and your pet, igniting Flame Chain. So, here's what that Flame Chain will look like. Really, really nice because it does deal damage between you and the enemy, enemy or between you and your pet. Um, 
I guess it also increases my strength by 5%, so that's really helpful. And with that being said, you know, again, we're going to move on to the level 50 talent on Holy Assault. Strike your target dealing 1456 shadow damage, infecting the target with four festering wounds and sending you into an unholy frenzy, increasing your haste by 12, 20% for 12 seconds. Now, I really enjoy that. I'm sure summon gargoyle would also be beneficial, but I prefer the haste because it causes my runes to cool down a little quicker. And if you know anything about an unholy death knight, sometimes you just don't have the rooms to spend when you need them. So that's really nice to have. Um, Army of the Dead, Dead, Death Coil, and Epidemic Reduce the cooldown of Apocalypse and Army of the Dead. Additionally, Apocalypse and Army, Summon a Magus for 15 seconds of hurdles, Frost Bolts and Shadow Bolts at your foes. I'm sure that's really helpful, but. To me, Unholy Assault is the better choice in this tree. Um, and with that being said, I'm sure I don't have the best PvP talents. I don't PvP often anymore. Um, it's just not what I'm into anymore. Um, so, a quick look at my gear. You know, I'm item level 152. I got some okay gear, I guess. I'm sure that my talent choices will change later based on the gear, but for now, you know, this is what works for me. So, with that being said, you know, thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been really helpful to you, and if you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe, maybe a thumbs up, you know. Um, so, alright, have a good day, thank you.